The flag's still out. Here we go now, we are on. So this race is already underway. An immediate attack at the front and it's coming from Norway. New Zealand immediately into the attack as well. 31 seconds and the Americans are still chasing. It's gone out another five seconds. This race is proving to be very interesting indeed. Numerous crashes are along the way. But eventually, after a chase, Tom Pidcock made it back into the peloton after he had to have a bike change. See the faces on some of these riders and we're going uphill. Where are the Americans? The Americans don't seem to have made this split. Well, I hope for them they haven't missed out on this because they've done so much work to try and contain things, keep the race within their grasp. At the front of the race, just ahead of Group 2. And this is just behind Group 3 here. And Pidcock gets in on the wheel. He knows that he's got to go with every single move. To me, Battistella looks superb. Really high cadence, looks easy, Battistella. Yep, he's looking good on the back and he's got vision of everybody else as well. He was the rider who he was wanting things to get created in this group earlier on. Oh, Ooh. very nearly went down there. Battistella has looked superb all day. Pidcock hangs back a little bit. They're on to Parliament Street. They go to the right-hand side of the road. Pidcock goes to the left-hand side of the road. Iguta is there. This is all a drag race now to the line. It's man on man as they make their way up to the final few metres. Who's got the best sprint? Who would you put your money on? Well, this is a track sprint now that we're seeing. Nobody wanting to commit too early. The wind, it's a little bit in the face. It's coming across from the left-hand side, a little bit in the face. So if you go too early, commit too much, then the riders coming from behind, they can take advantage of that. 200 metres to go. Ecoff on the front, Pidcock on the wheel. Iguta goes in the centre then. Here goes Pidcock for the line. Tom Pidcock, the Yorkshireman, is going for the finish, but it looks like he's going to be beaten on the line. Ecoff of the Netherlands takes it. He wins the world title. What a finish. Pidcock went too early. Looked so good, looked very easy from the front, which uh, which doesn't give you a good sign normally. Battistella. Samuel Battistella of Italy is the world champion. After Ikov was disqualified, pacing back into the race.